Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to mirror your screen on your Samsung Galaxy J7 Star to your TV using a Chromecast. And then I'm going to show you how to do it with a Roku. So I'll show you with two devices here. Um, the main things you need to know are um, you will have to have either a Chromecast or a Roku. You will need an HDTV that has an HDMI input. If not, you won't be able to plug in one of those two devices I just referenced. Um, and you also will need um, home internet. You will need Wi-Fi to do this. Uh, you cannot use your hotspot on your phone. You have to have an actual home network to do it. Um, so just keeping that in mind. All right, guys. So what you're gonna do is make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. So you can check right here. You'll see the blue, you'll see the Wi-Fi icon, make sure it is blue. And if you swipe to your left, you will see a smart view button. You're gonna tap on that and you will see your different uh, devices. So I'm gonna tap on Office TV, which is what my Roku is named, or excuse me, what my Chromecast is named. And then boom, you'll see right on the TV, the screen is now mirrored. So anything that is on my phone, I will be able to see on the TV. Now there's two ways to mirror your phone. Uh, sorry if it doesn't look great. Um, I'm, I'm not filming with the best camera on the TV, so it's not representing it as well, but you'll see it exactly the way it is on your phone on the TV. So um, anything you see, you will be able to see on your TV. You can open up YouTube, for example, and you can play YouTube videos and everything will show uh, nice and neat. If you do uh, rotate the phone, you will also be able to see it in the landscape mode. Let me go ahead and put it in full screen. So there's our video. Now, I don't recommend you mirroring your phone if you're just trying to watch video because unfortunately, um, you can't use your phone if you're mirroring the whole screen. Remember, everything that's on your phone screen is gonna show up on the TV and that's frustrating. So you may not want it to be that way. Um, just to zoom in a little bit closer so you can see that the quality is good. It's just the uh, camera I'm using to shoot the TV isn't as good. So just keeping that in mind there. Okay, so what I recommend is doing it this way. So first we're gonna disconnect it. You'll have your smart view button somewhere on the screen. Tap on that and disconnect the screen. So what we're going to do is instead of mirroring your whole screen, the only time you want to mirror your whole screen is if you have like pictures on your phone that you're trying to show or like a, a game in a specific app. Like those are things you can't just mirror. You have to have the whole screen mirrored. But let's say you're just trying to show Netflix, for example, or you're trying to show a YouTube video. You would want to go to YouTube. And then um, in the upper right corner, you're gonna have this little button right here. It's called the cast button. If you tap on that and you tap on the uh, device, which is Office TV, now it's just gonna send the video to the TV. It's not gonna send the whole phone screen. So now I can have a video playing on the TV and I can still use my phone like normal. So. That's one of the best parts about doing this. And for some reason, it switched to a really weird video. So I'm gonna turn that off and go back to one of my videos. So we'll go ahead and play this one. So really cool. It's just gonna play the video on the TV and I can still use my phone to do other things. So that's what, that's what I love about this. Let me pause it so it's not so loud there. But yeah, I can continue to use my phone for other things while the video plays on the TV. So to me, that's the most ideal way to do screen mirroring. Most people are just trying to watch a YouTube video or Netflix or Hulu. That cast icon will show up in all those apps. So that's all you have to do. Um, and then when you're done, we're just gonna swipe down from the top and I'm gonna tap on the video that was playing and hit the X and just close it and your Chromecast will go back to normal. So that's the first way. That's how we're gonna mirror our screen using a Chromecast. Now we're gonna show you how to do it with a Roku. All right guys, now for part two, we're gonna show you how to 
mirror your screen to a TV using a Roku. And so to do this, same thing, we're gonna swipe down from the top, swipe to the left, and go to Smart View. And my Roku is also named Office TV, or it's just named Office actually, so we're gonna tap on that. And then on your Roku, you're gonna see a pop-up. So you're gonna need your remote for this. You're gonna, it's gonna ask you to allow the phone to mirror the screen. So we're gonna hit always allow. And then after that, it'll take a second, but then it will connect. And there it is. So again, we can do a full mirror like before. Um, we can go to YouTube, we can play a video, same way, we can do our full screen to get it to show everything. Now the part I have to test, so let's uh, disconnect it. So what I've never tried, we're gonna just try it right now. So now that it's been connected before, it shouldn't, the Roku shouldn't ask every time if you wanna connect, it should just let you connect. So we're gonna try to play this video now. So you know what? That's the only downside of using a Roku. You can't just have it cast the video. So the only options that are showing up for casting are my Chromecast and my Fire TV. So important thing to note, if you do have a Roku and you wanna mirror it, you can, but you do have to mirror the whole screen, which means that you won't be able to use your phone while you're you know, uh, watching your Netflix or YouTube or whatever it is you're trying to watch on the TV. So keep that in mind. Um, that is an even stronger case for getting a Chromecast because it allows you to send the video but continue to use your device. So anyway guys, I hope you did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you also follow us on Instagram at h2techvideos for monthly giveaways and a bunch of other cool stuff. Thanks again for watching, take care and have a good one.